All right, guys, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, well, we've got a hoof. It's got some cracks in it. It's got some rocks in it. And it's got some heel horn erosion on both claws. So let's get right into this. So these ridges up in the heel that I'm working on now are known as heel horn erosion. That's basically when that slurry starts to eat away some of that hoof horn up in that heel bulb. You get these deep ridges. They don't typically cause problems on their own, but can contribute to other problems. Now here, we have a rock in that white line. This rock didn't cause this particular problem, but anytime you have a void in that white line, rocks can become embedded. You'll also notice that this foot is not very balanced at all. So we're going to get that taken care of right now, get it all trimmed up, and then that problem in that white line is going to become all that more obvious. Here you can see all the debris packed into this white line. It's that that makes these so difficult to resolve on their own, which is why we intervene and help them along. Now, oftentimes a problem like this will be isolated to that area right in the sole. However, that's not the case here. This one on this particular cow is working up the inside of that outside wall. Now, whenever you get one of these that track up that outside wall, it's important to follow that until it terminates. If not, you're likely just going to have a recurring problem. So what we're going to do here is chase this all the way to the top, and hopefully it'll terminate on its own. If not, we have to continue to follow that all the way. And a lot of times, these will have to work all the way up to that hairline before they'll resolve. As we zoom in here, you can see that this one does not do that but we've still got some more area we need to clean up here. That black area, that needs to be all trimmed out because that will likely hold whatever openness is remaining and that has to be cleaned perfectly in order for these to heal. If not, like I said, you're likely to have a recurring situation. I sped this part of the trim up just because my hands were constantly in the frame based on where I had this camera positioned. When they're on that inside claw like that, it's hard to get that camera just where I want it. And like I said, my hands were constantly in the way. So believe it or not, it's much easier to watch when it's at a faster pace. As I mentioned earlier, it's really important that you get these areas cleaned out thoroughly because any trap material can hold those bacteria that cause digital dermatitis, and that's ultimately what will keep this open. So 
I know you always say that I use a copious amount of chlorhexidine. In this case, it's even more important to get that area thoroughly cleaned out so that when I put my salicylic acid powder on, as I've done now, it can get to where it needs to be and help this resolve. As I let her out of the chute, I wanted to see how she walked, get that on film for you guys, but she didn't let me. She must have known you wanted to see it, so she came back for a quick visit. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.